Well, it's a late August morning. Uh, we have a special guest this morning. Uh, this is this video is actually about our um, 2024 goat kidding season, which was almost non-existent. But this is Duke to <laughs> to kick things off. He's a great Pyrenees that lives about two miles away, and he gets scared and runs away from his family uh, when there's a thunderstorm. So last night there were thunderstorms in the region and we saw him hiding under our house. So after this video and after the uh, own, the uh, new owner of the goat comes to pick him up, we're going to take him back home. Right, Dookie? He's a great dog. Okay. But I digress. So, um, oh, Duke, you can't come in. He's a, he's a natural shepherd dog, but, uh, they're going to freak out if they see him. So there are, uh, I can't see anything, our goats. And uh, what happened this year, right? Hold on, I'm sorry, I've got to... They may have to cut that one part out. So here are our goats. Um, every November we put the females in with uh, their respective um, bucks. Shakespeare and Elvis. <clears throat> we suspected that Elvis was sterile last year, but it was confirmed this year. So all the um, Shakespeare was in with Lucy, this white one in front. I cannot see anything with the sun. I'm gonna go over here. She's so skinny. We gotta get anyway. He's been so anyway. Uh, we put her. Lucy, the, the white one in front, and then this one right here, the white one right in the middle. Um, let me see if I can write that one right there with El with Shakespeare. And Lucy had a, had actually she had a girl and a boy, but the girl was uh, stillborn. And so the one, the only kid we had this year was Lewis. We named him Lewis. And the, own, the new owner's gonna come pick him up in just a minute. And what we think happened with Annalita was that one day we came and found her. Utter was kind of um, they're they're looking at they're looking at Duke. <laughs> it's okay, you guys. He's not going to hurt at anything. <laughs> they're really. Um, <clears throat> so we think Annalita had uh, miscarried because we think she was pregnant, but um, there was some blood on her udder, and they had the other. Uh, she had gotten stuck in the fence. Uh, with her, her head in the fence, and I think the others kind of attacked her with their horns and stuff, and I think she miscarried. So we, Lewis is our lone buckling this year, and so um, somebody had, gra actually the, this owner had graciously called us a few months ago and said, hey, I have a La Mancha buck, uh, I'm not going to, I can't use him, do you want him? So that was when we knew Elvis was sterile. So he said, wow, that's an answer to prayer. Yeah, bring him on over. So we, um, he brought him over and we put him in with the does. And I I'm, I'm think I'm seeing three of the does with their udders starting to expand. So I believe that at least three of them are pregnant. But that means that <laughs> they just don't know what to think of Duke. <laughs> so that means that we're going to have, Lord willing, we're going to have some late fall, maybe early winter babies, which we've never done before. But it's, we just don't have much of a choice this year so we're just going to roll with it and see what happens and we're very grateful the sad thing is that elvis um he started just getting weaker he he got bit by something and his legs swelled up swelled up and uh but he was fine after a few days but uh i couldn't he seemed to have he had a worm load and i just couldn't seem to crack that nut the wormers i was giving him just weren't helping him and so he finally got weaker and weaker, and um, one day he was obviously dying, so Dave had to get out the, he had to put him out of his misery. Um, so we buried him, and we're going to miss him a lot, but uh, it's God's providence, and, you know, we weren't, we really didn't know what to do with him. We didn't want to just put him down just because, so it, it was kind of a mixed uh, you know, sad providence, but it may have been best in the long run because we just couldn't use him. He wasn't getting any of our girls pregnant, so it's it says just as well. But we'll miss him. So Elvis has truly left the building. <laughs> it's sad. 
Uh, okay, so um, Dave is up at the front waiting for the owner to show up, and all of our other girls are <clears throat> doing well. I want to give you um, anybody who has goats, you may <clears throat> excuse me, may or may not know this. <laughs> If you, uh, if you, I started giving, my friend reminded me that diatomaceous earth is good for worms and animals. And I get food grade, make sure it's food grade diatomaceous earth, and I just sprinkle it on their food. And it's been about a month now, and their, their coats are softer and shinier. I think they, I think it's really working. So, uh, <laughs> he's rounding them up whether he, even though he's not trying. So I just, <clears throat> excuse me, want to put that out as a tip to try, because um, I think uh, Elvis got resistant to, uh, I was giving him ivermectin, and I think, I can't remember if I gave him anything else, but he, he just wasn't responding. Oh, and then lastly, um, he had an infection in his leg that we didn't even know about until after he died. So uh, we, I, I didn't, there was this pus coming out. And uh, I had no idea, there was this bump on his leg, but I, I was keeping an eye on it, but I had no idea that it had pus in it. And so he had a, this infection in his leg and we didn't even know it. And that, I'm sure that contributed to his, um, his uh, getting weaker. So I'm, I feel so badly, but I just, you know, there's nothing I can do now. Anyway, I think I'll end it there and uh, wait for the owner to come. And we're so thankful. Well, we're very thankful for even one uh, buckling this year. God knows, and God's in control, and His uh, He brings what He wants and keeps keeps away what He wants. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All right. Bye. Okay. Huh? So here's Lewis, and uh, Dave was able to corral him. I cannot see anything. Dave was able to corral him pretty easily and uh, get him in the owner's truck and he's on his way he has about an hour drive home to his new owner bye lewis have fun me god bless you to your new home i know okay and then his mama is over there the white one over there all right thank the lord Okay, Dave's saying goodbye to the owner, and uh, Lewis is on his way home, and uh, I think that's it. So tonight, I'll see if his mom, uh, she may have been weaning him, because we left him, he's been there for like an, a month longer than he should have been, so um, hopefully she has some... Uh, some um, Sorry. Oh, I've got a wasp almost laying on my hand. Some milk in her still, so maybe I can we can start having a little bit of goat milk. And there he goes. All right. All right. Another new chapter, and we'll I'll maybe try and chime in in a couple months to see if we get more um, kids born. Okay. Okay, they just dropped him off. We had a really nice visit, and here he is. We haven't named him yet, but here's our new little La Mancha buck. He's 14 months old, very viable, we're told. He already has kids on the ground somewhere else, and I think <laughs> the girls are. <laughs> I think at first he was excited to see him and tried to mount one of them, but I think they outnumber him, so he's a little bit intimidated. So hopefully that'll... I think they're going to have to lop off uh, one of his horns that's growing back into his... They might eventually put pressure on in his head, so they're going to... Dave will probably have to get the neighbor boys to help him. And then they'll have to uh, lop part of his horn off so it doesn't eventually hurt him. All right, girls. Nellie, what are you doing? I don't know what she's doing. All right, girls. Hopefully... Um, <clears throat> so it's... Uh, it's mid-March, and we're really hoping that maybe by the end of March we'll have some more pregnancies. So let's see, April, May, June, July, August, they have like a five-month, um, what's the name of that uh, pregnancy term? What is the name of that? I can't remember the term. 
uh, gestation. And uh, so let's see, April, May, June, July, August, so the end of August. So early September, we hope to have more kids, Lord willing. And then, um, so then by, let's see, September, October, November, September, October. So by November, hopefully we would have more kids for this, for our breeder, our um, buyer to come uh, buy back from us. So hopefully we'll create some synergy with this uh, new partnership. And uh, Lord willing, we'll have some more kids. All right, that's it for now.